Art Talk, episode 22. Episode 22 of Art Talk at 8. I can't keep moving my chair forward. Um, somehow I just kind of slowly squeeze away as I as I do these art talks. And then I have to constantly push myself forward. I guess I'm so excited I'd like push myself out of the scene. I don't, I don't know. Uh, good morning. Uh, let's see who the first one is. Franco uh, Cut Cutroneo. Thank you for joining us. Uh, Franco, Pat, good morning. Jerry, what's up? Yo, Jerry. Uh, great to see you guys. Everything safely at the Murphy. Uh, Dan DeVoto. Uh, very cool. Very cool. Uh, happy Friday to everybody. Uh, it's Friday, and to celebrate, I have this um, this little uh, Batmobile, little Bears Batmobile. This is a, an original Corgi, so this is really old. This is from the 60s. Uh, there's a little Batman in there. I don't know if you can see that little Batman in there. Yep. Uh, hello from the UK. Uh, yes, Franco from the UK. Where exactly in the UK? Because it's, it's kind of big, kind of big. Good morning, Wes. Uh, see you tomorrow. Yes, uh, tomorrow is the artist meeting at the Murphy. I'm very excited about that. I got a whole weekend planned of just cool stuff. I'm so stoked as to what's going on in the weekend. Tomorrow I'm headed up to the Murphy and um, we're going to be going through a lot of the stuff that we brought back from the Santa Cruz trip. Uh, if you have not seen today's vlog, which got posted earlier, Frank, what's up, Frank? Uh, from Arizona, uh, Sandhurst, Berkshire is where Franco is from. I don't know where that is, but that sounds awesome. That sounds like a place I want to go, um, but Italian. Um, not sure what that means. He's Italian, living in the UK. Is that what you're doing, Franco? Sounds like a plan. Uh, so the the vlog episode, uh, the vlog number 911 went up this morning, 911. Uh, and it shows the rest of our trip in Santa Cruz. We brought back the Woody and this 1926 Holt Vintage trailer. Good morning, Josh. What's up, buddy? Lots of smiling eyeglasses. Love it. Alisa Jackson, thanks for joining us. Uh, ladies in the house, love it. Love it when the ladies show up. Uh, the guys just, you know, we just sit around and play with cars all day, you know. And I think the, the ladies should do that too, you know what I mean? Uh, so um, this is our talk, episode 22. And uh, this happens every single weekday morning at 8 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Um, someone said, uh, Sherry says, what? I live in Santa Cruz and you didn't even say hi. <laughs> I did say hi. You just didn't hear me. I screamed as loud as I could. Franco says, yes, that's what I mean. I'm Italiano. I'll be in Long Beach in October. Very cool. All right. Excellent. Okay, so um, uh, this being a live Facebook Live uh, program uh, on Facebook Live, uh, you guys can interact uh, and you can ask me questions. You can do all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, welcome, Charles. Lots of great people in the house. Yvonne's here. A good morning, Fireball from Placentia. Very cool. Um, uh, you can uh, you can share this, uh, and I appreciate if you guys if you're getting some good stuff out of. Can you hear Kathy making juice already in the background? That's going to be coming in. Sorry about my cowlicks going on on the on the side. Um, uh, share these videos if it's something that you guys uh, uh, feel you're getting something out of. Uh, we got a really great subject uh, to talk about today. Um, uh, if you if you miss any of these art talks, you can watch them on YouTube. There's a playlist on YouTube that lists all of them, all twenty. Uh, I think 20 is up right now. Uh, a little update on the coloring books that we have. Uh, you guys know we have Fireball Publishing, which is my coloring book company. Uh, we have new books that are available in the Elliott Museum. Uh, the Elliott Museum is in Florida. Go check it out. It's a really great car museum that's actually on the beach. Uh, obviously, uh, of course, it's still there are lots of books at the Peterson if you go there. And uh, the main place is on Amazon where they're available. Uh, we have about 20 books. Working on the Porsche book. Kathy's working on the history of surfing. And a quick update is yesterday we secured uh, Spider Surf in Hermosa Beach. So they're the first surf shop that's selling the uh, Surfer Girls book. So I'm very excited about that. It's just stuff going on. Uh, what's up, uh, Robert Kirkland? Thanks for joining us today. What does the A stand for? Uh, John Gardner, welcome to the show. Um, just hanging out with little Batmobiles. Original Corgi right there. Yeah. I got a slew of these, yeah. Uh, not this particular one, but the other ones. Okay, let's let's focus on today's um, art talk. Get you guys rolling out into the into the soup, as they say, out into the into the zoo. You know where the zoo animals um, kind of do whatever they want, and you guys got to be prepared. So if you're in a position to, if you're young and you're looking for something creative to do with your life, uh, this is a good place to start. If you're uh, older 
uh, seasoned as some of us are, right? Uh, and you're, uh, let's say you're retired, you've been in a job for 40 freaking years and you want to do something better, something more exciting and um, uh, not worrying about monetizing that, just doing, you know, something that, that kind of gets you out of bed and gets you excited. This is a good place to start. And uh, we are talking about improving your lives creatively and how we can uh, strategically use tools to improve our lives in ways that, um, uh, that are fulfilling, right? That's fulfilling. It's not work. It's fun, right? Going to car shows. That's fun. But how can you go to car show and, and share what it is that you have, share what you do uh, with a group of people that's equally um, uh, car loving minded? You know what I'm talking about? So today's subject is, uh, is on avoiding negative suggestions. Now, uh, at first, that, that can be, sound like a criticism. It can be, sound like a negative suggestion as a criticism. But that's not really what I'm talking about. Uh, Josh says, 49, I'm still young. Yes, you are. You're still young. At, my dad's 91, and he's still young. He's still pumping it out. He's a badass. Still going crazy. Um, but avoiding negative suggestions is really more about, you know, people, people with kind of a hidden agenda, people with concerns, people with, with, uh, uh, that want to... Um, want to influence you because they're trying to protect you, things like that. So let's talk about that for a second, okay? Um, what is this? Uh, Jerry says, good job on the footage, on the footage photos on the trip through the woods. Well, thank you, Jerry. Uh, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Be sure to check out today's vlog, number 911, closing in on a thousand vlogs. We're going to have a big freaking party. Uh, Mike Hershey, uh, thanks for joining us today. Let me know where you guys are tuning in from. Okay, so Avoiding negative suggestions, let's talk about agenda for a second, is that, you know, that, that when you're having a conversation and you're telling somebody, somebody about something that you're doing, um, it's very important that you, you tell people the things that are going on in your life that you can trust that they're not going to uh, judge you, they're not going to criticize you. So you want to you wanna surround yourself with positive people. You want to surround yourself with people that can support you, that are going gonna to put you up. They're going to say what you're doing is great. Or if they're going to make a suggestion, it's something that's going to be empowering, something that's going to help you and move you forward. But people with agendas are not, I'm not talking about so clear like they're trying to manipulate you, trying to get something out of you. I'm talking about um, people with with agendas that um, that are subtle. It's the subtle ones that get you, right? You know what I'm talking about. It's the little subtle things that that uh, uh, make their way into the into the ears, as I was scratching my ear, uh, make your way into the ears, and they start to fester, right? And they start to influence uh, the direction of the, the way in which you're going. Uh, Nigel, Roberto, thanks for joining us. Nigel Brunt, uh, let us know where you're tuning in from around the planet. We got people in the UK. We had someone from New Zealand the other day. This is freaking awesome. So you have to be weary of those, of those agendas. I'm not talking about judging people and, and getting mad when people make a suggestion, but I'm talking about being protective of yourself as to, as to have a clear vision of what it is that you want to achieve and then go about doing uh, taking actions on that, that thing and, and looking for people that can support what it is that you're trying to do. Good morning, Dennis. What's up? Uh, Lisa's from Ventura. Yes, uh, Lisa, I hope I see you at Ventura Cars and Coffee on Sunday. Since I can't tell what you look like, come up and say hi. The door's opening. <laughs> the door's opening. And that can only mean one thing. It's juice time. That's a scary color. I know, it's kind of brown. Wow, look at that color. Yikes. <laughs> I, I have to drink this? You're going to enjoy it. Okay, what is it? Lemon, pineapple, Lemon, pineapple. carrot, Apple, spinach. Spinach. It's the spinach that turns it the scary color. The scary <laughs> color. Okay. Oh, that's pretty good. Wow, that's really good. Okay, lemon. What else? Lemon, pineapple, apple, carrot, spinach. Spinach. Okay. In a, in a look at this glass. Is that cool? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> shows it off. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. Got it. My, my, my fuel to get me through. Mm. Oh, yeah. It's got a kick. Mm, it's that lemon juice. Woohoo! Okay, moving on from agenda, let's talk about concerned people. Concerned people. It's like I'm just trying to protect you. I'm just trying to make sure that that you're okay, and you know, but that they're not. There's there's a subtle uh, you know um, uh, agenda in there, and uh, you know that people want to feel good. That's the bottom line. Is is that when someone makes a suggestion and you take their suggestion, they feel awesome, right? There's like they're beaming, like uh, I came up with this idea and he ran with this idea, and I feel really good about it. But if you don't take the suggestion, immediately they go, 
right? And they're like, uh, oh, jerk didn't take my suggestion, you know, and he's going to do it wrong and this kind of stuff. So it's it's walking that fine line. And and the thing about that is that you you have to be strong and confident in the in the agenda that you have, the thing that you want to achieve for your life. As an example, uh, my birthday's coming up on the 3rd. And I'm trying to figure out what I want to do on my birthday. And, and I, I generally like to to uh, go do something fun and go do it with the family and, you know, that kind of thing. And uh, But you're going to get suggestions about, you know, what you should do, you know, the kind of thing you should go go do. And But those are things that that excite those people. It's, it's what I want to do what excites me the most and to not allow those suggestions in it doesn't it doesn't mean that i can't hear them it doesn't mean that you don't want to accept people's suggestions it just means that you don't want to have those suggestions influence your the purity of your outcome the things that you want the most you have to feel confident in in what you choose and a lot of people uh when they get a suggestion and they start thinking about it start festering it becomes an auto suggestion now if i want you guys to research a guy online his name was emil ku c-o-u-e he was a, a hypnotherapist back in the last turn of the century a french guy uh, and he coined the term auto suggestion an auto suggestion is you keep repeating in your own mind the suggestion you got from somewhere else until it becomes a, a habit formed or a part of you and those can be really good you know you can be suggesting i'm i'm a whole perfect strong powerful loving harmonious and happy you can do that you can you can you can keep pushing that agenda and you know that's empowering that's something that's really good for you hold on there we go and uh uh or you can the suggestion is uh wow you're you're, you're insensitive you're insensitive. It's like, I'm not insensitive. Wait, am I insensitive? I don't think I'm insensitive. I, you know, you just kind of keep rolling, keep festering. Eventually you start wondering whether you're insensitive. It's like, oh man, I, you know, I gotta be careful with that. And then pretty soon it can become a condition. So you have to be very careful with that. Uh, Dave Buchanan, Dave Joseph, thanks for watching. Welcome to the Dave show. Lots of Daves in the house. Uh, super cool. What else we got? Um, Robert Rapp, thank you for joining us, uh, letting us know where you are. Rick Rajowski, I probably said that completely wrong, Rick. I'm sorry for that, but uh, let me know where you guys are tuning in from. Very cool to see everybody today. Uh, so um, you got to focus on you want, uh, focus on what you want, and uh, and you got to let it come. You got to let it come. So there's a point at which you have to let go. You have to focus on what you want and and avoid those suggestions. Kind of like in a fight, you know, you're pairing, you know, as these suggestions are coming in, you know, you got to move your kind of your way through the landscape and and stay focused on, and, on what you want. Now, if you're on the fence about what you want to do, then it's much more difficult. It's much more difficult because if you're on the fence, then you are amenable to suggestion. Uh, especially when you're in a subconscious process. So um, I, where we are very amenable to suggestion when we first wake up and when we first go to bed. And that's because we go from an alpha state in our mind to a theta state. And in a theta state, we are bordering on that subconscious process. And if uh, if you have a conversation first thing in the morning, let's say you, you wake up because your phone rings, and I don't recommend you have your phone in your bedroom. That's lame. That's really not a good idea. But if your phone rings and then you answer it and then people start blah, 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 talking on the phone and you are, you are that those suggestions, those words are going to go into your subconscious a lot faster because your conscious mind, which is the watchman of the gate, is not doing his job because he's, he's sleeping. He's sleeping. Okay? So that makes sense? Make sense? Uh, Jeremy Glaze, thanks for joining us today on Art Talk. This is episode 22. We are Facebook Live. You can interact with each other. You can ask me questions. Uh, you can just have a freaking cool day is what you can do. That's what, that's what you can do. You just have to do it. Make a, make a decision of the fun stuff you want to have to uh, do today and, uh, and take that suggestion, that commitment, and go to town right? And not let anybody get in your way about having coolness in your life, okay? And we're talking about avoiding negative suggestions, but not negativity in that, you know, wow, you're a jerk. Uh, negativity, the subtle negativities, the little negativities, okay? Um, we talked about auto-suggestion as the outcome. People need to, uh, suggestions to feel good, right? They, they, they want to feel good, so they want you to take their suggestion, and they don't feel good if you don't, right? And that's a, that's a hard thing. It's like, oh, I'm just going to piss off my wife. I'm going to piss off my mom. If, if I don't, if I don't take her suggestion, I don't do what she thinks I should do. And, and that's rough. I get that. I get that. I grew up with that. Everybody's grown up with that. But a confident mind, a focused mind, a determined mind, a persistent mind, a, I really want to say the, a really bad word, a mother mind, 
is, is a mind that's going to get shit done, right? And not going to allow negative suggestions or any kind of suggestions to get in the way unless you propose those ideas to people that you respect in your life, your small circle. And you need to know who those people are so that you can go to them, okay? Uh, confidence comes from knowing. The more, the more that we can have a clear picture on what it is that, we're, that we want to achieve, uh, the more confident we're going to get. You know, the more I want to uh, I want to drive this car, you know, the more I feel that I can sit right there next to next to Batman, right? He's sitting right there, okay? Uh, be the Robin of the day, whatever it is. He can be Batman too, whatever it is. Bat, bat girl, bat girl. Uh, I don't know if there was another one. Um, uh, just just be be confident and clear on what your your own agenda is and make that suggestion and honest suggestion in your mind and the stronger that is then you won't be amenable to suggestion okay Does it make sense make sense get my point okay good um today i want you to get out there and i want you to have a clear picture of 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 the way you want the day to go it's friday it's Friday. It's a fantastic day, uh, and it's only a fantastic day if you decide it is. You've got to decide that today is going to be the best day of my life, right? Is that possible? Do you believe that's possible? Because according to that belief is what's going to happen today. So I believe that. I know that. I know that. I'm doing stuff today that's going to be freaking awesome. I can't wait to get to it, but I get a chance to hang out with you guys, have a little bit of juice, even if it's a nasty color. Uh-huh. Oh, that lemon. Oh, that lemon's got a kick. Mm. Hold on. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. Woo okay, so get out there today. Uh, hit a home run. Just decide that today is going to be a freaking awesome day. Put in your calendar all the things you can't wait to do. It's going to be fun. Even if it's going to see a movie tonight, hanging out with friends, whatever it is for you. You know, get the stuff done you need to get done. Set aside those people that are giving you a hard time. Just table them. Put them over here and stay focused. Have one direct line to what it is that you want. Okay? Makes sense? Awesome. Um, quick update on this weekend as we outro. Uh, heading to the Murphy tomorrow morning. Uh, going to have an artist meeting for the Fireball Gallery, which launches May 11th. Can't wait for that. It's going to be super awesome. So we're going to be there at 11 o'clock at the Murphy. We're going to be assigning spaces to these artists. If you're if you're curious about that, if you're in the Ventura area, you want to come by and meet the artists, you can. You're not going to see their work. They're not going to show you their work, but they will be there and we will be going through a bunch of stuff at the Murphy. We got all the stuff we brought back from Santa Cruz, which was very cool. Uh, Robert Smith, thanks for joining us today. And anybody else, Jeremy Glaze, very cool. And then on Sunday, we have Ventura Cars and Coffee. So if you're in that area, not only am I going to Ventura Cars and Coffee, but I'm also going to uh, um, uh, the Camarillo Ranch, which there's a show at Camarillo Ranch. It's an all-day show, 100 classics, customs, hot rods, all kinds of neat stuff. So I'll be there. All right. Thanks, Pat. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you guys soon. I love you guys. I really do. I appreciate that you're hanging out with me today. You want to make your lives better. And through that, we will make everybody's lives better. Right? Huh? Huh? All right. Let's do it. See you guys.